Alright, it says to go back to the house. Let's see what's going on at home. Marge again. Homie, you're late for work. And today's your workplace evaluation with Mr. Smithers. Ah! He'll find my scorpion farm. Then where will my scorpions live? Only one person can help me. Lenny. Oh, mighty Lenny. Hallowed by thy name. Oh, man. I remember the episode where Homer throws a perfect game and uh, he to get out of uh, something with his family. He uh, tells... <laughs> He tells Marge that there was a plant explosion and Lenny was hurt. So everyone's very upset and uh, they keep saying, uh, Not Lenny! Not Lenny! And then Marge eventually finds out and she goes, Well, I'm furious with your father for lying to me, but I'm just so relieved that Lenny isn't hurt. <laughs> hey, Homer, how about a breakfast churro? No time! Tell me where to find Mr. Smithers! Yeah, I think I saw him at the Quickie Mart. More breakfast churros for Lenny. I'm gonna need a car with a little more junk in the trunk if I'm gonna take him out. I wonder if Barney still has the Plow King. To complete this mission, you will need to purchase the Plow King. Purchase it from Barney at the gasoline station for 150 coins. Important, use foam boots to access vehicles you already own. So we do not have 150 coins, so I'm gonna have to go and collect some. Fortunately, it's really easy to collect coins in this level. We already have 53 just from driving around, kind of doing stuff. There's these Buzz Cola containers everywhere. I'm not going to be doing this for long. There's another box and a vending machine right here. They kind of, for this early part of the level to kind of teach you the mechanics, they obviously put everything really close together. You can get 100, look, we got 123 coins without doing much of anything. So now we're going to go buy the Plow King, which is a reference to the episode where Homer had Mr. Plow, and then Barney obviously started the rival business, the Plow King. Barney, can I borrow the Plow King? Take what you want, sexy leprechaun. Just don't shoot me with that dark gun. Oh. Whatever. So there'll be a couple of vehicles per level, like this. Okay. And then there will be other vehicles that you buy from Gil. Let's do so a part of the game progress is getting all of the vehicles. Some of them do get rather expensive, so... This is one of the harder ones. You go from driving the pink car the entire time, or unless you're driving one of the regular civilian cars that you might hijack. They're not that good, so they're really, it doesn't behoove you to do that, especially early on in the game. Um, your car can catch on fire, so that may be like a last second replacement. If you do that, then you have to pay for the car to be repaired. But going from the, the pink sedan to uh, this is a little bit jarring. So this level, when you're brand new to the game, can be kind of hard. But again, it's it's a cool reference. This is one of the types of missions. Basically, it'll boil down to, there's missions where you have to collect items, there's races, there's collect things along the way, and then there's bully the other cars on the road. This is uh, Mr. Burns' limo that uh, Smithers is driving. <laughs> I think Mr. Burns has two cars in the game. I can't remember. Um, it should be noted that uh, he is faster, so if you do lose him, it kind of gets a little difficult. But again, really easy. When it starts blinking, he's almost dead. You can use the walls to your advantage. He's almost dead. Plus, he has to make it to the, the, the nuclear plant, which is on the other side of town. So you just bully him a little bit. It's okay if he gets away. Just... Cut the corners off at your advantage. Boom. Mission complete. Now that we've bought this car, we can use it anytime that we want for any mission. <laughs> now that we can, uh, now we can use this car whenever we want, and it'll be helpful when um, the different types of missions come around, because you'll want something with a little more toughness or maybe a little more kick, something a little bigger, and then other times you'll want something just really, really fast, which. In the later levels, everything is a speed challenge. Everything is about... It's not about beating missions quickly. It's about be, it's about beating missions basically with one or two seconds left on the clock. So this is a bonus mission. Each level has a bonus mission. Uh, we'll go ahead and do Cletus's mission right now. Hey, I know you. You're in my dumb guy support group. 
Mind if I borrow your truck for a while? No can do, Mr. Fancy Blue Pants. I be gotten to finish up my daily chores, or else Brandine ain't making her muskrat pie tonight. <laughs> Fine, I'll help you with your hillbilly chores. You help me bring in this season's harvest, and I'll take you anywhere you be needing to go. Woohoo! First most, I want you to go to the gas station, get me some of those cardboard tubes, you know them? I'm gonna bail me some indoor plumbing. When you finish with that, Knock down all them tobacco plants so the youngins can clean them up for market. <laughs> I love it because it has the the tobacco which uh, Homer invented with uh, a little help from a uh, plutonium intervention. Okay, so this mission uh, kind of opens you up to how the police can play a part in the game, a significant part. Uh, this is also important. The bonus missions will give you use of a special car. In this case, we're trying to get Cletus's truck, which he says he'll drive you anywhere you want to go. But really, you just drive and you sit in the pat. Your your character will sit in the passenger seat. So, it, is it a particularly great vehicle? I don't know. It's funny. Okay, now we're gonna have to fight the police. Um, if you keep kind of messing around, they uh the meter will go up. Um, it's not like a proximity thing, but if I keep causing more damage or if I hit them again and again, I'm gonna get, um, the bar will keep filling up. And now I just have to lose them, basically, which is pretty easy. I'll just go through the cemetery. Yep. So I just evaded the police. Uh, <laughs> easier said than done most of the time. Uh, they're gonna get tougher, obviously, as the game goes on. Obviously, I keep saying the game's gonna get harder. There's not a lot of commentary that I can do right now because the game's pretty damn easy. Uh, and again, if you haven't played the game, I hope that I'm doing a good job of kind of guiding you along or touching on the little things about it. Okay. Yeah, the AIs definitely go out of their way to mess you up sometimes, which can be pretty frustrating. <laughs> it actually is super frustrating, especially when they behave in ways that just just plain don't make sense like that bus just there um, I'm gonna get a huge wanted level here because I'm um, apparently every one of these plants counts as an object I'm not allowed to hit and also the plow King's not the best car for this oh I got busted so they take you for 50 coins they kind of put you back on the main road Sometimes it can be helpful just to get busted, but not always. Like here, in this case, it did take a lot of time off the clock. Uh, and I can't use the ramp, and Cletus' house is too far away, so looks like I'm going to fail this mission and have to retry. Yep, okay. All right. Sunday. That's the easiest time. Uh, Nothing lasts forever. Yeah. Uh, the truck is stuck in a ditch. The game can be unforgiving at times. Because now I'm gonna be stuck in this tobacco patch. Yeah, and I gotta run away from the place. I always imagined. Because, you know, the, the, the irony of running away from the police is that Chief Wiggum goes out on every call and that Chief Wiggum is the most incompetent police officer ever. He's the epitome of... It, uh, I'm going to get stuck in this tree. Yeah. Oh, it, fa it put me facing backwards. That's fun. Now that I'm not... Now I'm not going to have enough time to get to Cletus. That's fun, too. Then I missed the shortcut, because I had to do a really wide turn. Oh, if I don't get it, I'm going to be pretty sore. You should get it. Urgh, yes! Awesome. Yeah, I would have rage quit right there if I didn't get it. Okay, city boy, I'll help you. You just yell into one of those magic talk boxes, and I come a-running. Oh, man, them things is crazy. I am too smart. I am too smart. Congra Congratulations, you've unlocked Cletus' pickup truck. Go to a phone booth to use it. 
We don't need the Plow King anymore. Uh, here's Gil, by the way. I'll just show you what, we, what cards we're going to get later on. Uh, the, dr the Duff Truck, the Surveillance Van. Okay, so he has two. You get the other car in this level by doing three races. So we're going to pick up the Family Sedan. I'll pay you in back, Rob. You can pick up these cars anywhere. So, now we have to go to work. We haven't even gotten to work yet. <laughs> we're already halfway through this level. There's eight levels, eight missions per level. Plus all the side things that we're going to do, so. Oh, uh, there's the tire fire, by the way. <laughs> Across the street from the windmill. <laughs> Don't eat beef, eat deer. <laughs> Slaughterhouse. Just, they just packed as many jokes into this game as they possibly could. Um, so after we do all the missions, I'm going to go back and do all the side things. Go to Homer's workstation. Uh, here's the, um, the vent, the toxic gas thing from, uh, the episode, uh, where Homer, uh, gets a disability by gaining all that weight. And he gets stuck in the Mew Mew. <laughs> he gets stuck in the Mew Mew in there. <laughs> Alright, so Homer's workstation is in here. And Sector 7G has only one occupant. That would be us. Here we go. How can I sleep with that camera? Old oh, sexy girls could be watching me on the internet. Stupid cameras. You should be smashed. I'll destroy you at your power source. <laughs> Blind Big Brother. Destroy all the power couplings before time runs out. Okay. Platforming is definitely not the strength of this game. As I kind of said before, the, the downfall of this game is how bad the camera is, which in a platformer, especially a 3D platformer, is sort of a big deal. I mean, I'm not going to say it's the most important thing, but it's... I mean, it does make platforming hard. Any of the missions where you have to platform particularly can be really bothersome. They give you a lot of time, but it, honestly, I feel like you shouldn't need a lot of time. It's not really a great platformer in that regard. And especially here, like you see, I'm having troubles controlling the camera. You can double jump, which is kind of forgiving. And then... Wow, well, I've never done that on my first try. <laughs> I'm really lucky. I'm glad I didn't make a fool out of myself on the recording. Get some coins. And jump right back into here. Well, finally, I can get some sleep. Mindless drones, return to your ugly families. Ow! In your the only thing that's missing is the uh, little office here that would have been F Grimy's office. Here's a little Easter egg too. The brick with the uh, string tied to it is Homer's replacement. Oh, looks like someone died in toxic radiation. Someone should send them a fruit basket. All right. Ugh, here we go. We'll get home and then we'll. Uh... Oh, coins. There we go. We need we need to get all of them at some point anyway. So if I see them, I'm just gonna start trying to, to get them. Uh, destroying phone booths gets you coins, along as breaking anything with Krusty's face on it, which I was case you have. Uh, the security bees are the same thing. In fact, oh okay. Yeah, the jumps in this game are either really really. Oh, I missed that one. I'll get it on my way back. Uh, they're either really, really forgiving, or they're really, really punishing. Like that jump over the tire fire, I never make that one. Even if I'm going full bore, and you really need to make it to be successful on the latter missions. You really need to, like, have your ish together. Oh, okay. But here. Oh, break the Buzz Cola glass. Now we're home in Evergreen Terrace. The trees give you some coins. Boom. We're home. It's good to be home. Oh, there's my mailbox in front of my car. Uh, is, uh, leaves much to be desired. But, 
you know, it's nice. Easy tutorial level, la 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 la. We're going around. Ooh, shortcut, 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 shortcut. Oh. 